Hey Gator fans, I'm Shelby Granath once again here in Orange Beach, Alabama for the SEC Soccer Tournament. Tonight it was the Florida Gators up against the Rebels from Ole Miss in the semifinals. The last time these two teams met this season was way back in September when the Gators defeated the Rebels 4-1 in Oxford. The first half started off in the Gators' favor as they had goals from Savannah Jordan and Havana Salon, sending the Gators into halftime up 2-1. Take a look at all the highlights. Uh, shot by Jordan. Oh, the gut by McCormick. Florida trying to go up 2 0. And they do. Well, we knew they were going to be a tough team. You know, I think that they're not going to quit ever. But they were down 2 0 pretty early, and they came back and got a, a goal. And we know we knew it was going to be a battle to the very end. And if we stick some of our chances, then maybe that ends it a little bit sooner. But we didn't, so they hung around. It was definitely a pretty stressful game. Um, I think our team came out really strong in the first half. Uh, we got a little settled, and then after that it was kind of a little frantic, but I'm proud of the way our team held on, proud of the way we fought, and uh, we came away with a great win tonight. I think it was a really good game, a hard-fought game. I thought the team played really well. Um, coming into the tournament, we know that teams are going to get up to play us, and I thought we handled that really well and got away with the win. Leaves it over to the right side. And that was a good look for Rodgers, but she couldn't make anything out of it. I thought we created a lot of really great chances. Wish we would have uh, capitalized on some of those a little bit more efficiently, but the fact is, you know, we created a lot of really great chances, and I like the way that we got the win. I think that we played well. I think that, you know, we created a lot of chances that we didn't finish, but I think that overall, you know, we came out with a win. I think um, it was just kind of one of those nights we the goals that we got tonight were kind of, one was kind of a miss save from the keeper and the other was a good PK. Um, but it was just kind of one of those nights where we weren't really on finishing, but I think we did a great job defensively holding on to the goals that we did have. Um, and I think it was a great win. Talk a little bit about how you've seen Ole Miss change from playing them at the end of September to playing them tonight. I think the biggest change was just getting up for the tournament and getting up to play us. They wanted revenge to play us. They wanted to get to the finals in the tournament. So they were gonna come a lot harder and bring everything they had. Um, I think one of the biggest differences was how aggressive they were. I think that, you know, they came hard for 90 minutes and I think that was the biggest change. Now we're gonna have a foul right in the box. It was a give and go with Havana and then the girl came in and I hit it past her and she took me out and that was about it. Leading up, um, we had a combination on the top of the box and Lauren Smith got in and she just kind of got taken out and uh, I got a PK. Not a shout out, but talk about Taylor's performance and the defense performance tonight. I mean, I still think it was pretty good. I mean, the goal that they scored was a great strike. Um, I'm not sure she had much of a chance on that, but at the same time, I think, um, you know, for us, we have to probably do a little bit better job of winning 50-50 balls, uh, balls that are just in the air. Uh, but overall, like I said, at this, at this stage of the game, we're just trying to advance. I know it was part of the game plan coming in to sub a lot. Talk about that in the first half. You did sub a lot and why that was part of the game plan. Well, I just felt like, you know, as this tournament is a long tournament and it's pretty grueling to play three games in five days, you know, we knew that we needed to give some people some rest and to just mix it up a little bit. And, you know, I think the people who went in carried the load. They did a great job. And the Gators are back in the SEC Championship for the 15th time in their 19-year history. Well, I mean, I think for us, again, it's part of the process of just getting better and better every game and, and having an opportunity to have game opportunities to practice what we do, you know, and as long as we're still playing this tournament, we get those opportunities, so it's great. Uh, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just getting our bodies ready. You know, three games on the road is tough, so, you know, preparing, we're going to, you know, physically and mentally just prepare. Oh, I'm definitely excited. I can't wait to see the winner of this game and um, hopefully we can get recovered and be ready for Sunday. Now the championship game will be on Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. From Orange Beach, Alabama, for Gator Vision, I'm Shelby Granath.